Hi, y'all. Casey here for a new episode of Today I Learned. Don't worry about being online too much while watching this episode because today we aren't spending any time on the web. Did you know that daddy longlegs aren't actually spiders? Daddy longlegs are arachnids, which is a class of joint-legged invertebrate animals, of which almost all have eight legs. Spiders are a type of arachnid, as are ticks and scorpions. Daddy longlegs are actually more closely related to scorpions than spiders. They only have one set of eyes, don't produce silk, and have a fused body. And unlike some myth information you've certainly heard, they are not venomous. And they don't not bite you because their mouths are too small. They don't even have fangs. One thing you may not know is that there are around 10,000 species of daddy long legs and they are all over the world. They are really, really old too, like 400 million years old, which we learned from a well-preserved fossil found in Scotland. And speaking of people finding old stuff, last year in South Asia, researchers found a creature encased in amber from approximately 100 million years ago that is a cross between a scorpion and a spider, with eight legs, fangs, silk-producing spinnerets, and a long tail. Researchers know that some of today's modern species had common ancestors, but this one has been particularly difficult for scientists to classify. And given the picture you've just seen, I imagine some of you are picturing some some kind of giant nightmare fuel here. But no worries, not only do they no longer exist, but when they did, they were only about two and a half millimeters long, which for all of you Americans out there is less than a tenth of an inch. Some other interesting things about daddy long legs, they don't move around much. They spend most of the day hiding in crevices and when a predator is around, they play dead. They also camouflage themselves by bunching together, which makes them look like a ball of hair. One of the reasons there are so many species is because of how bad they are at getting around, which means when a population is split, they quickly begin to develop into new species with a wide variety of physical characteristics. Some have tiny bodies and long legs. Some are smaller, flatter, and have short legs. Some are brown and pod-like, while others have spines and are colorful. And in Laos in 2012, one species was found with a leg span of 13 inches. If this episode inspired you to learn more, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Join me next time for a good old fashioned tongue lashing. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice and I will see you heathens later. Bye y'all.